Razor, 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 razor. It's a good start to the video, right? Sure it is. All right, so I've had razor products for a long time. And honestly, I love the company. Seriously, I think they are a great company. They make good quality products. For example, this pro this uh, keyboard right here, Razer or not a Chroma, I've had it for about five years. It works perfectly fine. It's that little problem with the feet on the bottom, but anyways, I'm not get too in depth into that. So basically, I like Razer, but everybody knows that you're, if you buy a Razer product, you are going to spend a lot of money for this kind of, it just, it, it just makes sense. If you spend a lot of money on something, you're gonna expect a higher quality product. You spend lower money on it, so you may expect a lower quality product. But with Razer, it's more, this is not low quality. It is still very high quality, but why is Siri turning on? It's not low quality, but it's not super high quality either, and that's the thing. It's Razer charges a very high premium for their products, but in the product itself, it is a very well-built keyboard, but yet it, it just kind of feels a little bit cheap, and they're known for not lasting very long. I can't say I don't like Razer. I have I spent eighty five dollars on a Razer mouse pad. Why I don't I don't know, but I, I actually like it and I don't really regret buying it. But anyways, so I want a new keyboard because this one actually is not full mechanical. Um, I do like this keyboard. I've had it for a couple of years now. Um, it has got like in the switches, they feel good. They feel okay. They're not super great. Um, also. I would rather not have this numpad, to be completely honest. People that I say, okay, well, I would rather have that numpad, sure. If you use a numpad all the time, then sure. But you're just wasting that extra desk space that could be used to fit your mouse. For me, I don't really use a numpad. And so I want a new keyboard because of that and because of the feet. They slide whenever I push on it. It's really annoying. Anyways, enter Steel Series. <laughs> This is cheaper than a Razer keyboard. In my opinion, it's better. The switches feel great. It has um, Cherry MX Blues. I got it on sale at Canon Computers for 149 bucks. Usually they'd be like uh, 160, 170 bucks. Anyways, so very excited to open this. I'm gonna pretend like I haven't opened it because that's what I always do. I open them before I film it just to make sure it, you know, actually works. No, I haven't, I haven't actually tested this one. But anyways, let's go over some of the stuff first. So, see we got Macros, which this keyboard does not. We have a little, we have a little OLED screen, which they uh, they seem to like to advertise a lot. All right, so let's open this guy up. Five onboard profiles. Oh yes, you can control your onboard profiles with the little OLED display. How awesome is that? All right, so inside, things like these tech companies, why? Okay, I see. I thought this would be like insanely uncomfortable. Like I thought this was just aluminum. I'm like, why would you do that? But honestly, it's not as padded as the Razer one, but I don't know, I might prefer it. Here it is. Those are some clicky keys. Sure, those are. Oh yeah. So these are the Cherry MX Blues. So they're tactile and very clicky. That is what it's advertised as. Plug in. Of course, you gotta download your RGB crap software because they can't peacefully coexist. Ooh. It just auto went. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the video right here and I'll be back in a couple days and I'm gonna try out this keyboard for a couple days and we'll, um, and I'll tell you how I feel about it. We'll see what I think. Okay, bye. See you in a couple days or I guess really a couple seconds. Bye. One week later. All right, everybody, welcome to the second part of this video. So, I have been using this for almost a week now. I got it on uh, Sunday, today is the next Saturday. So I've literally been using this for a week. I've edited videos on it. I have written a 1200 word essay on it. I have gamed on it. And honestly, this is amazing. My thoughts still stands on this about how I love it. Funnily enough, I actually got a new mouse. Um, I literally bought this today. G Pro Wireless. This is the next review. So um, that's coming soon. But that's not what we're focusing on right now. This keyboard with the linear switches, 
I'm gonna admit, going from Razor Greens to um, what are these Steel Series Reds, they are a little bit different. They are different. It's gonna take a little bit of a learning curve, but they aren't. They are amazing. Now, this little OLED screen on the top, I didn't realize you can cycle things in here. I thought I just said Steel Series on the top. You can put pictures in there. They look awful because you know it's very small OLED, but. You can have, right now I have different things cycling through. So here's my GPU usage, my RAM usage, my CPU usage just cycles through. I also have Discord. Numbers one to zero up here, they go up like this. They are your visual audio, what's it called? Monitor. Ah, yes, audio monitor. So the louder I talk, the more it goes up here. The louder, the less loud I talk, it goes down here and it goes from green to red up top. Like any regular mon uh, audio monitor would. But it's really cool because it only does it when I'm in Discord and talking to somebody. And then the top F keys up here, your, all your function keys, everything, all of those are um, for other people to Discord call. So if someone else talks, it shows their audio meter up here. And I have it set up um, on the OLED screen. So when someone talks, it will show their name here. So when I talk, it says MW17 right here, which I think is really cool. There's a bunch of preset um, RGB things on the keyboard itself, but actually typing on it is a little bit weird, but it's amazing, I love it. This um, USB port on it, lifesaver. Especially with this wireless mouse now, like I'm gonna need like, well, you can put it in the back of the computer, but it'd be nice to have it right there, right? This wrist rest, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I gave it some, uh, I was quite uh, not impressed with it when I first opened it up, but it is quite comfortable. Like I'm gonna say this is more comfortable than like the padded Razer one. So, Steel Series Apex 7 10 keyless, I would recommend. It is $169. Nice. And honestly, with price performance, this thing is great. I love it. I am not missing the number pad at all. I never really use a number pad much, but I'm not missing it at all. And uh, macros, great to have. Love them for editing. Yeah, editing videos on this thing is also insane. I say I have one complaint the actuation point in the space bar is way too high. Like, I'm sitting here, I have my thumb resting on the space bar a little tiny bit, and I get it, they're linear switches, they're gonna go down, but like I rest it on a little tiny bit, and you can see the actuation point, where you can see where the RGB effect goes across it. It is very low. So I'm sitting there editing videos, I have my, I just rest my hands on WASD, I leave my, my hand resting on the thing a little bit, on my uh, space bar, and it just starts pausing the video. So that's, that is literally my only one thing, have the actuation point a little bit lower on that space bar. But other than that, Beautiful, love this thing. All right, so if you like this video, then like it. If you dislike it, then dislike it. This thing is coming up, G Pro Wireless. I literally just got it today, so it feels kind of weird to talk about the keyboard that I've had for a week, but not the mouse. Uh, this mouse is actually the exact same price as this, $169. Nice. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, maybe you would like the video of me building this entire computer. So that will be in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.